Hello, welcome to Blizzard Warning 23. I am Zulo. I am BK. And you want to know what's funnier than uh, 23? 26, 25. Oh. It was close enough to 24, so whatever. <laughs> I just want this fun bug even before we start. <laughs> and we have, once again, Milkfish. Oh, that's that's not how you spell his name. Is there? There's some uh, letters missing. And then I hear some EK players going on. Okay. There you go, that looks good. Did you expect something else? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, um, so I haven't got to see uh, many games today just because I've been grinding a lot of friendlies. Has he been playing Mennonite today? Yep. Do you know? Yep, he has. He has He has been playing Mennonite basically solo the whole tournament. Hmm. Yeah, it's very interesting. He hasn't pulled up Bowser, he hasn't pulled up Inkling. He, he has stayed with Mennonite. A very curious choice um, from Metal Fish. I think he's just trying to learn a new character, maybe, or playing with different stuff. Cool. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Absolutely. Yeah, a sortie is, is always an interesting choice. Yeah, exactly. Especially, I'd say, Meta Knight. Like, there's not really another character that plays is identical to how he plays. Mm -hmm. So it's it's kind of like one of those one-ups. Like, I faced a Diddy Kong in the racket today, and that was really exciting for me. Like, it's just something I don't see. Right. And, yeah, and like me, no one plays, and I'm like, yeah, I'm the only person here who plays the Mario. <laughs> for good reason, though. No one here is. No one here has is dumb enough to play the card. Simi, you only help me. <laughs> he's fun, but he sucks. Yeah, he can be really fun. He's kind of the arson factor, right? Yeah, you're, you're like you, you, the more you get damaged, the better you are. Yeah, which is good for me because like it allows me to adapt to the gameplay, but gives me the tools to uh, counter. Yep, you can actually, you know, the higher the damage you are, you can really start applying pressure that you might not have. And able to apply it. You die at like 40 or whatever. <laughs> With max rage, you die at 40. It's weird. Yeah, that's scary. <laughs> but, yeah, it seems like um, I don't, I haven't seen this entire game there be a situation where either one of them had a clear advantage. They've really been going back and forth within about 20 to 25 percent. Like it's really anyone's game yet. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do think I do think uh, Meta Knight. Would theoretically have the advantage here, but I think his range is just uh, just a bit lacking when uh, facing against Ness. We saw um, uh, uh, we saw uh, Dreams play Lucina against um, no, sorry, not not Dreams, but uh, Mel play Lucina against uh, Lurazma recently, and it seemed like uh, Lucina was a bit more successful at zoning Ness out just because of the longer range. Absolutely. And I think with Ness, you got to sort of just have a method to keep him away from you. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep, exactly. Ness can feel really suffocated if he's not the one suffocating, you know? He right. plays uh, uh, really up close and, and grappling when he can, mm -hmm. but I think that's the main difference, I mean, in, in the way that me and the Blake look at the character and that Blake will... I'm a lot more impatient than Blake, I'll, I'll admit that, and then... I think that really helps him with these types of matchups when he knows, okay, I need to sit back and just kind of get some space and, mm -hmm. you know, whereas I think I'm always like, I'll challenge you, let's go, yeah. I'm Little Mac. <laughs> <laughs> you know? You're Little Little Mac. Yeah, little Little I'm doing your Mac. <laughs> your Mac. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was scary for a second, the way he was grabbing that thunder. It almost looked like he was going to accidentally punch himself off the right side of the stage. But he's making use of his high percentage here. If you see, he's got him to almost 100% on that stock. Yep. Um, I know that uh, historically Metal for Fish can pull back mm -hmm. pretty well, but you know we might be seeing a game one way to play here. Oh, the descending downer takes the stuff. It's just gonna, yeah, it's just gonna depend on right now. If, as long as Blake keeps playing the way he's been playing to get here, he'll win this. He'll win this set. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's when you start to panic, right? When you're like, there we go. Yeah. I've noticed a lot of players when they're like, just need the kill, right? Mm -hmm. That's when they choke the hardest because they, they don't play the way that got them there, and then they just get really predictable. Right. And Ness, you know, simply by grabbing you, you die. Right. It's scary. <laughs> Like, if you're above 140 against Ness, you get grabbed, you're dead. You're just gone. You're, you're dead. There's no coming back. There's nowhere on the stage. There's no DI. Yeah. Oh, he goes with a Bowser. Yeah. A very, uh, I'd say that's a very good choice against Ness specifically. Yep. Um, mostly because yeah. uh, Bowser can tank, um, can tank a PK fire without yeah. getting stunned. A lot of times he can get a very early kills on Ness, too, due to just uh, Ness's overweight. Mm -hmm. You know, some of his, especially like his. 
forward smash and a down smash can be really devastating. Oh! Fuck, fuck. Just get him with the jab there. I'd say that's not a, a bad strategy at all against the Ness because he has a fat jab. The <laughs> Bowser. It's his, it's, it's his jab is very fat. Like the down smash con, and it's. Yeah, it's a really good move. I mean, in general, especially I feel like against Ness. The only thing that Bowser has to be careful for, and I mean, just someone who's played this matchup, is that he's basically combo code for juggling. So yep. once he get once like he gets started, it, it becomes really difficult for him to get out. But that's the problem is that I feel like he plays smart enough to not let this start. You mm -hmm. know. Yep. He, if I were, I would normally go for the upper platform with the Bowser Bond. If I were Sue. Yeah, absolutely. Especially at that percentage that he already had, like, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It just wasn't, it, it was kind of overkill at that point. Yeah. I think, right, so, Bowser can really shut down. I noticed that he's getting punished with a BR shield lock, because I think it was intentionally you mean, you mean, shielding. You mean, you mean back around shield? Um, no, um, I, I meant Blake's getting punished. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, I think that Blake sees the shield. And thinks it's safe to run into the grab, and he's kind of baiting out from situations where he can then right, yeah. punish him with the uh, the other shield. Yeah, that's really good for Bowser. Yeah, it's kind of it's how it's basically um, basically Zelda's neutral B links up B. Like it's it's a good out of shield um, option when you're getting pressured. Yeah. And Bowser, yeah, Bowser is very much a, a really a, very much a character that can just destroy you if you're not careful, like. And Lorazmo is taking this very cautiously, more so than he does most matchups. Um, it seems like he's just, he's really just trying to wait for an opportunity. He's trying to open up with PK Fire. He's trying to go for a grab. He's not doing anything crazy. He's just being patient. Because Bowser, you can't really out, 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 uh, out charge Bowser. Cause, right. Because, right. yeah, he'll absolutely wreck you. Yep, I think, um, I think some of the things that are really limiting in S is too limited. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. That was oh my god. <laughs> oh, I guess the down, the down air stage bump to back air. That was I can see, I can see, I can see him smiling down there, so he felt good about that one. Yeah, that was too. I got that. Um, so, basically, the, I'd say the three things coming from this matchup experience that makes the matchup difficult for Ness. Um, grabbing is almost yeah. impossible. Um, his other, Ness's two other best, I mean, like, kill confirm attacks um, are going to be, like, his back air. But still, his back air kills kind of late on Bowser in, the, in this match. And just due to Bowser's late, it's, it's kind of hard for him to do that. Yeah. So then you've got to rely on, on the up air. Mm. Now, the up air is really dangerous because it can set you up in a situation where maybe Bowser can use his down smash. Yep, yep. Or down smash. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Or his down smash, yep. Yoshi's in Smashfield. I think he's wanting to keep it on the bigger stage. Yeah. Which is totally understandable. Lilat. Lilat. Bet. 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 I think I think Lilat would be a good choice um, for a Melt Redesh if he wants to stay on, you know, stay playing Bowser. But it's Blue Rasmus' choice. Absolutely. So, yeah. It'll be interesting to see where they end up. Unifa. That's not legal. choice here because even like Ness's up tilt doesn't go through those platforms I don't believe. 
Right. If it does, it just barely clips the bottom. And he, oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah that's just to say Bowser's range, man. He can, like, his up tilt everything. Like, Bowser goes through the plan. Right, yeah. Keep in mind, this is this is uh, Blue Rasmus. That's, that's what I'm saying. And yeah. I'm really interested to see. Yeah, it's weird to have him make this. I I, I feel like he would sort of pick this as a Diet Yoshi's sure. sort of way. Okay. Like, um, it's got a similar makeup, but uh, just, the plan, just the platforms themselves are slightly different now. Sure, sure. I could see it too, maybe to try and throw off what Metal Fork is expecting out of the match, right? right? Like, I think that in a lot of ways he was expecting just a straight back to back feel. Right. And so it kind of switched up this way. And I think Blake's at least trying to switch up his playstyle to reflect the change of stage. Right. Mm -hmm. I see. I need to see something out of Blake here real quick. Yep, yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we have to, why did I do that? Can I get an F in the chat? <laughs> uh, good stuff. Good yeah. Stuff. Yeah. So, Lilith in general, I, it's a very, it's a Bowser himself. Ooh, clips. Through, Bowser's so tall, he's clipping through the yeah. platforms, yeah. just standing there. Did you see that? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, just right through the stage. Yeah. yeah. And he, he, just by standing, yeah. he clips through the platforms. This is, oh, oh wow. wow. That, oh my. Oh, oh no! Oh, that was. Yeah, we'll see you then. Times, times up. And be kidding. See you later.